In today's distributed world, branch networks face increasing security risks and operational complexity. Zscaler Zero Trust Branch changes the game by securing every branch, simplifying your network, and delivering a seamless experience for users, wherever they are. We are all familiar with how the branch architecture has evolved over decades. Van termination for inbound access with ACLs, providing basic network boundary protection. Traditional perimeter security relies on stateful firewalls, but allows implicit trust that's risky. Astivan replaces traditional MPLS with broadband van and centralized management, reducing costs and operational complexity for branch connectivity. Zscaler Zero Trust Branch eliminates implicit trust, protecting against lateral threats by isolating endpoints. Transition to Zero Trust delivers simpler, more secure branch networking and supports cost reduction via broadband adoption. Traditional networking and security is at a breaking point. Appliance sprawl resulting in massive increases in cost and complexity. Security outcomes are getting worse with ransomware attacks on the rise. Attack surface keeps expanding as we extend the network to cloud, third parties, partners, etc. Customers are ready for a fresh approach. Gardner expects that by 2027, 65% of new SDVAN purchases will be part of a single vendor secure access service edge offering. Let's look into Zscaler Zero Trust Branch, which has two key components. Zero Trust Branch Management, which is a multi-tenant, highly reliable management system deployed in AWS and offered as a SaaS. It is responsible for central orchestration, visualization, and configuration management. It can manage thousands of Zero Trust Branch gateways across different customers and locations. Zero Trust Branch gateways are high-performance inline data forwarding appliance, which is available both in physical and virtual form factor. It's typically deployed as a cluster per site across multiple WLANs. Zero Trust Branch gateways are responsible for metadata collection, traffic routing, policy enforcement, and flow logging. A branch might typically have some employees working on managed laptops. Zscaler uses a lightweight client connector to forward internet and private app traffic to the Zero Trust Exchange. If you only have managed users, this is all you need. However, if you have IoTOT devices in your branch, like card readers, cameras, printers, you can deploy a Zero Trust branch appliance at that site. The branch appliance securely forwards internet and private app traffic to and from devices through the Zero Trust Exchange, no agents required. Similarly, Zscaler connectors in the cloud and data center ensure you have access to private applications, all brokered through the Zero Trust Exchange. This essentially creates a Zero Trust overlay that connects users and devices to apps. Each site is a non-routable island, locations no longer need to share routes. Another benefit is the M&A integration. You can connect users to apps on day one without integrating the network. This architecture eliminates the need for expensive MPLS, firewalls at each branch, and VPN. Zero Trust Branch Gateway Auto provisions every endpoint with a slash 32 subnet mask using DHCP proxy. No agents needed. Devices are automatically classified and group-based policies enforced, for example, restricting RDP to cameras. Ransomware Kill Switch enables rapid threat-triggered policy enforcement for incident response. Let's take a closer look at different traffic flow scenarios. For inter-VLAN traffic before Zero Trust Branch, Device A sends packets to default gateway, which is L2-L3 switch. The switch routes the packet to firewall, which sends packet to Zero Trust Exchange. On return, Zero Trust Exchange replies, Firewall receives the packet and forward to L2L3 switch on its way to device A. With Zero Trust Branch, device A sends packet to default gateway, which is now Zero Trust Branch gateway. Zero DTB route the packet to Zero Trust Exchange via switch and firewall. Firewall receives reply from Zero Trust Exchange and forwards to ZTB, which further route the reply to device A, a route must be updated on firewall with ZTB as a next hop for device A's network. For intra VLAN traffic with device A talking to device B on the same subnet, device A sends RRP request and learn device B MAC address. Device A sends a direct packet to device B. Device B responds back directly. Packets are switched at L2. With Zero Trust Branch, device A talks to device B in different subnets since both devices have slash 32 IP. Device A finds default gateway from its route table, sends ARP to default gateway and learn MAC address. 
Device A sends packet to default gateway, ZTB gateway. ZTB checks policy for device A to device B and forwards the traffic. Device B replies to the device A via ZTB gateway. With devices talking to DHCP server, before Zero Trust branch, device A sends the DHCP discover packet. L2, L3 switch relays to the server. DHCP server sends the offer to the switch, which is subsequently forwarded to device A. Device A sends DHCP request to the server directly. The server sends DHCP ACK with IP. Relay is not involved in request or ACK. With Zero Trust branch, device A sends the DHCP discover packet. ZTB gateway act as a DHCP proxy, forwards the discover packet to the server. DHCP server sends the offer to the ZTB gateway, which is relayed to the device with ZTB marked as DHCP server. The device sends the request to ZTB, which is forwarded to DHCP server. The server responds ACK back to ZTB, which modifies subnet mask field in the ACK before it forwards to device A. Zscaler offers a range of zero trust branch appliances to fit different deployment sizes and performance needs, including the ZT400, ZT600, ZT800, ZT8010, and virtual machine. These appliances vary by CPU from 4 core to 16 core. Memory from 16 to 128 gig. Storage from 256 gig to 1 terabyte. And different port options. Throughput capabilities differ, with unencrypted throughput ranging from 2 to 40 gig and encrypted throughput up to 10 gig, supporting from 200 to 5,000 endpoints. Form factors include fanless 1U rack mount and VM instances, catering to diverse physical and virtual deployment environments. This appliance variety allows organizations to choose the right fit based on scale, performance, and operational preferences. Let's see what sets Zscaler ZTB apart. Traditional branch networks are vulnerable to lateral movement by attackers once they gain access. Zero Trust Branch prevents this by using a non rotable network overlay, meaning connections between devices and segments are isolated and cannot be used by attackers to move laterally across the network. Zero Trust Branch simplifies the network architecture by eliminating the need for traditional components like costly site-to-site -site VPNs. This reduction in infrastructure not only cuts operational expenses, but also speeds up deployment and management. With Zero Trust Branch, security is applied uniformly to all communication flows, both external communication between branches and internal communication within the same branch, closing gaps that could otherwise be exploited. Zero Trust Branch provides a seamless experience from the device to the application, ensuring that users get fast, secure access to the resources they need wherever they are. To see Zero Trust Branch in action, check the demo linked in the comment section below. This wraps up Zscaler Zero Trust Branch intro. Hope you enjoyed the video and gained a good understanding of how Zero Trust Branch can simplify and secure your network. Thank you for watching and stay connected. Stay protected. And I'll see you in the next one.